Hi, John Swarstrom, and it is an honor and a privilege to introduce this new technology to you and show you how it's made a difference in my life and hopefully make a fantastic difference in yours. So, this is basically how it all started. In the 1950s, some research was done around the world with these healing sources of water. And I don't know if you've heard these sources of water before, but there's one in Lourdes, France, Norda, Germany, Tacony, Mexico, and Delhi, India. Now, there's over 40,000 people a day that line up each of these locations because it claims to have healing properties with their bodies. And when we studied each one of these water sources, we all found they had one thing in common, and that's active hydrogen, better known as alkaline water. There's also Dr. Henry Konda, who won the Nobel Prize for their study on the Hunza people. Now, Dr. Konda studied these people for 40 years. And the Hunza people lived to be 140 years old and having babies in their 80s. They have very little disease or sickness, and they wanted to find out why this was. And they found the reason was because of the water that they drink. It's very high in antioxidant, it's very, very alkaline formed naturally through the glaciers. So our company decided to create a machine that could create these waters even up to 10,000 times stronger than these locations. Now these are some of the certificates that we've won. This is uh, the top one, one on the left corner is FDA approval in Japan. Now it's much harder to get FDA approval in Japan than this is the United States. We actually have that right there. Right below that is the top doctors in Asia. There's 6,500 doctors in Asia and they formed a group, an organization, and they endorse it and use it on all their patients. Right below that in the bottom left is ISO certification. We also have FDA, we have a lot of other certifications also. Again, no other company has these. This is WQA certification. This certifies can be used in a hospital, restaurant, clinic, health club without being pulled out by the health authorities. Again, we're the only company that has all these certificates. This is a couple things about the company. It's a 40 year old privately held company it's an original equipment manufacturer, top industry leader. We're members of the Better Business Bureau with an A rating. We're members of the Direct Selling Association. We have numerous awards and endorsements and we have offices all over the United States and all over the world. Now these are some of the machines that we make. This is our K8, this is our newest machine. This is the SD501 and the SD501 Platinum. These are the machines we actually sell 95% of the time. This is the Junior. This is the Love Luck R. This is the shower unit. Then we have the industrial machine and the under the counter sink unit. Now for today, we're gonna to be talking mainly about the K8. The K8 makes five different types of water. And if we go over here, this is actually the K8. It has a nice little touch screen. And right over here on the, on the right hand side are all the drinking waters. Now the drinking waters, it makes an 8.5, a 9.0, and a 9.5 pH drinking water. We normally start a person off at 8.5, keep a person there for a couple days, then we move them up to 9.0, and then finally 9.5. And that's where you want to stay, hydrate, and detoxify your body. The next water on here is just a plain filtered water in the green. Nothing really special about that. Now I want to speak to all the ladies for a minute here. Uh, makes a beauty water. Now you ladies spend a lot of money on cosmetics, lotions, uh, a lot of things for your hair, skin, and nails. And this is actually a beauty water. Now women go to the store and they'll buy toner at $30, $40, $50 dollars a bottle. And what toner does, it brings the pH of your skin back to 6.0. That's exactly what this water does too. Not only that, this water tones, tight, tightens, and hydrates your skin a lot better than any other water. It, it takes years off your skin. Now, a lot of you realize that water makes up most of your hair, skin, and nails. And the quality of water that you put into your body makes more of a difference than any lotion, potion, or cosmetic you can use on your skin. Right below that, we have the strong acidic water. The strong acidic water, that's my favorite water because it kills all bacteria and all germs. It kills Ebola, Salmonella, E. coli, MRSA, anthrax in 20 seconds or less. So the surgeons in Japan, they don't use soap and water to wash up with before surgery. They just use this water and they wash all their surgical equipment with this water. It's 100 times stronger than bleach at killing bacteria and germs. This water is also written up in the Los Angeles Times and the Seattle Times, because now the Sheraton Hotels, Donald Trump Towers, et cetera, are using this water to clean the bathrooms, kitchens, et cetera. The article says that they're saving 85% on cleaning costs and having 75% less sick days from their employees. The best thing about this water, though, is the number one thing used in Japan for psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, rosacea, acne, eczema, gangrene, and skin cancer get amazing results with it. Um, 
Now, while it's making the 2.5 strong acidic water, at the exact same time, it's making this strong alkaline water. This water will take stains out of carpet, blood out of clothing, etc. Amazing water. So those are the different waters. It's also approved as a medical device, like I said, in Japan. It has eight platinum-coated solid titanium plates, speaks eight languages, has a universal transformer you can use it anywhere in the world, industry's best self-automated cleaning system, creates medically approved Kong and grade water, and has a 25 to 30 plus life expectancy. Now, we're talking about the drinking water. The drinking water has very great properties. It has very high antioxidant. It's also micro-clustered. It's also very, very alkaline. Now, what happens after you cut an apple open after about the first 20, 30 minutes? It turns brown, right? Same thing with bananas, avocados. Same thing happens with the cells of your body. They start to oxidize. We know that oxidation equals sickness equals aging. We also know that antioxidants act as an anti-inflammatory and also anti-aging. Now, this is actually a picture of our company founder, Mr. Hirinari Oshiro, on the left, and his business advisor on the right. Now, most of the time, when I ask people how they think Mr. Oshiro looks, most people say that he looks like he's about 45 years old. And his business advisor on the right, most people think that he looks like he's about 75 years old. But the amazing thing is, these guys are actually the same age. They're both Japanese. They're actually roommates in college. And when Mr. Oshiro's roommate graduated, he came to the United States and got on the good old American diet. You can see what happened there. Start to oxidize. Mr. Oshiro has been drinking the water for over 35 years, so he's like a walking billboard for the company. Now, the amount of antioxidants you maintain in your body is directly proportional to how long you will live. That's according to the National Institute of Health in Washington, D.C. This is an antioxidant chart. ORP stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential. So anything in the positive is increasing oxidation or the rusting effect. So over on the right side, we can see we've got bottled water, tap water, sport drinks, sodas. The higher the number, the more oxidizing effect or aging effect it has on your body. Anything on the left side has a negative ORP, has an anti-aging effect. So whether we got vitamin C, green tea, cod liver oil. Now we're going to take a look at these beverages here to see where they are in the antioxidant chart. So you can see some of these beverages here. You probably recognize a lot of them. Right here, we've got some dishonest water, or Dasani water. This was voted worst product by Consumer Reports of all products made. This is actually banned in Europe. And uh, we're going to put a little dishonest water here. It's actually made by Coca-Cola. Right next to that, we've got some Aquafina. This is also banned in Europe. You never see this in any European Union country. Okay. This is actually pulled uh, from the Detroit River. They run through a filter and sell it to you. Right next to that, we've got some Nestle Pure Life. Uh, this is just a, a water that we pulled out. It's pretty popular. Okay, Nestle is a very popular water here. Right next to that, we got some vitamin water. Um, this is a pretty popular water as well. It's got vitamins on there, or vitamin water, so you think it's good for you. It's got, you think it's got a lot of vitamins, etc. Right next to that, we got some Perrier. This is, uh, represents all your sparkling water. San Pellegrino, Canada Dry, etc. Right next to that, we got the Gatorade, okay? This is what a lot of athletes are supposed to drink, right? And this uh, Gatorade also makes Propel. So this represents all your sport waters. Right next to that, we've got uh, Sprite. This represents all your soft drinks. Coke, Pepsi, Diet Coke, Mountain Dew, Red Bull, woo! All right, let's get a little angry at me right as you can see. Okay, so we're gonna put a little Sprite over here. Right next to that, we've got some tap water. Put a little tap water right here. And then we've got our Kongan water. This is uh, straight from the machine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to check out the antioxidants in this water so you can actually check it out for yourself. So I've got an antioxidant meter here, ORP meter. And we're going to flip this on. We're going to see where they are in the antioxidant quality. So here we go. There's our number. You can see it's about 2, 270, okay? That is our Dasani. Again, we want something that's negative, not something that's positive. Right next to that, we've got some Aquafina, about 300, 320, okay? That went up. Oh, it's going up even more, 340, okay? Also bad. Here is Nestle Pure Life. It's gone down a little bit, 340, 
3.30, also bad. Here's vitamin water. Woo! Jumped up a lot. Now it's coming back down. 3, 3.10, okay? Right next to that, we got Perrier. 2, 300, 315. Also bad, that's positive 3.30. Here's Gatorade. Positive 400, okay? That's not good. That's probably the highest one so far, 415. Here is Sprite. That is a positive 415. Right next to that, we've got some tap water. Positive 470, 480, okay? Now here's a Kangen water, it's free, same source water as the tap water here. Here's Kangen water. Negative 640, negative. You see that negative? That's why one glass of this water has more antioxidants than 30 glasses of green tea. So what happens is the water actually goes through the machine, gets filtered, and then it takes an H2O molecule, snaps off a hydrogen, creates a negative bond around the HO, creating an antioxidant. And that goes throughout your body, picking up positively char charged free radicals that cling to it like a magnet and then dispenses out of your body. Now one free radical can kill two million healthy cells in a minute. And the average cell of your body gets attacked 15,000 times a day by free radicals. That's why you want to drink a lot of this water, because it acts like a scavenger water, gets those free radicals that cause damage and aging to your body. Now, Dr. Horst Filzer, who's a pioneer of the vascular stent, when you get a blockage in your artery, they put a stent in. He says the two greatest discoveries in his lifetime is Kong and water and Harvard University, where he graduated top of his class, has been teaching out for over 30 years. Now, Dr. Filzer says, you couldn't eat enough fruits and vegetables throughout the entire day to get the amount of antioxidants you get in just one glass of the water. So that's the first property in the water. The second property in the water is the alkalinity. This is Dr. Otto Warburg. He actually won the Nobel Prize for cancer. And his thesis is, he says, cancer, disease, and sickness can't live in an alkaline environment. So what he would do is he would take tumors in animals and found there's a blood supply that went into the tumor and a blood supply that went out of the tumor. And he found when the blood supply went out of the tumor, the blood became very acidic. So he would put very alkaline blood into the tumor and finding it shrinking and going away. So your blood is 90% water. Your body is 75% water. So if the water that you're now drinking is 100,000 times more alkaline than what you've been drinking before, amazing things happen. He also says if you starve a cell of oxygen for more than 48 hours, it will most likely turn cancerous. So the best way we can get oxygen into our cells of our body is with the water that we drink. This is Dr. Linus Pauling. He's won more medical awards than any other doctor in the past 200 years. He's also won two Nobel Prizes. This is what he says about when your body gets too acidic. He says in your arteries, it eats away the lining and gets plaque and foothold. In your joints, it erodes vital cartilage and leaves joints painfully inflamed. In your skin cells, it causes premature wrinkling, dry and brittle nails and hair. Attacks the lungs, liver, and pancreas, wears down muscle mass, in your bloodstream it lowers your body's defenses, and in your body tissue drains calcium from your bones. I ask a lot of people what they think osteoporosis is caused from. Most people say lack of calcium. What actually happens is your body gets so acidic that it goes to the bones and leaches calcium and magnesium out of the bones to neutralize the acidity. Just like when a person gets acid reflux. Most people will take like Tums or Mylanta. What's the two main ingredients in tons of Mylanta? Calcium, magnesium. So you see if the water is so alkaline, it neutralizes the acidity in your body, doing away with that. Also, it slows down human growth hormone secretion and zaps your sax drive, and damages delicate enzymes. So make sure our bodies are alkaline, not acidic. This is what the brightest mind in medicine says, the war on cancer has largely been a fraud. That's a direct quote from Dr. Linus Pauling. Now, this is a book on voltage. If you hook up a voltage meter in anybody's parts of their body, their earlobe, their finger, etc., you can measure the voltage in a person. According to this book, any cancer patient is going to be a positive 30 voltage. Any healthy person is going to be between a negative 25 and a negative 45. Cancer can't survive in a negative 80. We saw what the voltage was in these, in these waters here. They're all a positive voltage, but the Kangen water was a six, negative 640. So it brings up the voltage in your body which directly corresponds to the pH in your body as well. Now speaking of pH, this is a pH chart, which directly corresponds to the voltage. 
This is, you can see where neutral is right there in the green. And you can see anything on the left hand side is more acidic. Anything on the right side is more alkaline. So we want to stay away from the orange and the yellow. We want to be in the purple. Now, if you haven't been the orange and you went from orange to yellow, that means you're now 10 times more alkaline. So each step that you go in color is times 10. So if I went from orange all the way to the purple at the very end, that means I'm a million times more alkaline. So let's check these beverages out to see where they are in the alkalinity chart. Now I got some pH drops. These are, uh, any pool guy uses these to touch out your pool. Now when your pool gets acidic, just like your body, you get disease, sickness, algae, fungus starts growing in your pool. And then what your pool guy does, he comes and makes it alkaline and all that disappears. So let's check these beverages out and see where they are in the alkalinity chart. Again, we want to be in the purple, not the orange. So here we go with Dasani water. Okay, so as you can see, that's pretty orange, right? I used to think water was water. But if you're drinking this and you've got cancer or gout or osteoporosis, you're keeping your body more acidic, right? Here is Aquafina, also acidic. Nestle Pure Life, acidic. Vitamin water, acidic. Perrier, acidic. Gatorade, acidic. Sprite, acidic, representing all your soft drinks. Uh, tap water, okay, now tap water, look at tap water. Tap water is actually a neutral color, right? Now don't get excited about that because the reason it's neutral is water is normally found in this state right here, very acidic. And by government mandate, they put lye in the water. Lye is the main ingredient in Drano. It's also the main ingredient in rat poisoning. And they put lye in the water because if water was in this state right here, it rusts the pipes underneath your house. So the government's more concerned about the pipes underneath your house than they are about the pipes in your body. That's why it's this color here. And the Kangen water, here we go with Kangen water. And as you can see, it's that nice, deep, rich purple color that you want. Now, what do you think would happen if I took a little bit of the Kangen water and put it into the dishonest water? Do you think I'd get it to uh, green with just a little bit, a capful? Let's check this out. So take from an acidic state to an alkaline state. Here we go with uh, Aquafina. Take from an acidic state to an alkaline state. Here we go with Nestle Pure Life. Okay, take from an acidic state to an alkaline state. Here we go with vitamin water. Wow. <laughs> Do you see that? It takes 23 glasses of the Kangen water just to neutralize or bring the green one glass of vitamin water, that's how acidic it is. Now we're gonna make this interesting here. We're gonna take this Perrier and I'm gonna pour most of it out here into this, this glass here. Now, we just have a little bit of Perrier. Don't take your eyes off the Perrier. Here we go with Perrier. All right, so we got it to blue at least, right? What's happening? Okay? takes 19 glasses of the Kangen water just to neutralize or bring to green one glass of Perrier. That's how acidic it is. Or San Pellegrino, etc. Here we go with Gatorade. Takes 25 glasses just to neutralize one glass of Gatorade or turn to green. That's how acidic it is. Here we go with tap water. Okay, make that alkaline. And here we go with Sprite representing all your soft drinks. Takes 32 glasses, 32 glasses of the Kangen water just to neutralize one glass of Coke, Pepsi, Diet Coke, Mountain Dew, Red Bull. That's how acidic they are. Now, we're gonna take this Sprite now, and we're gonna take this cap, and we're just gonna put a little bit in this cap and put it into the Dasani water. So here we go. Look at that, just killed it. Here we go with uh, Aquafina. Just killed that. Here we go with Nestle Pure Life. Just killed that. Here we go with tap water. Okay. And here we go with pure Kangen water. Okay, it's fighting it off, right? That's why cancer is overtaking heart disease as number one killer in the United States. A large drink just used to be cans. Of, we used to have cans up until the 1974. That was it. 
And then what happened in 1974, they came out the 16 ounce plastic bottles. And that wasn't big enough, right? So guess what? 7-Eleven came out the big gulp, right? Then that wasn't big enough, so they came out the super big gulp. Now what happens? Two years ago, they came out with the double gulp, which is basically 64 ounces of soda. What's even worse is, what happens when you go into a fast food restaurant now? They actually hand you a cup, right? And say, hey, there's our fountain over there. Drink as much as you want and bring some home for breakfast too. The third property of the water is microclustering. Now, H2O is grouping clusters of 15, 20, even up to 100 parts per cluster. And a lot of times they're so large, they can't fit into the cells of your body. So a good example of that, if you ever exercised or you ran and then you drank a lot of water and you feel like swishing around your stomach, that's because the water molecule clusters are so large, they can't fit into the cells of your body. But with the Kong machine, it's able to break these water molecule clusters up so that they're anywhere from five to six parts per cluster. So if you took tennis balls, for instance, and threw them at a chain link fence, not many of the tennis balls can make it through the chain link fence. If you threw marbles at a chain link fence, a lot of the marbles can make it through the fence. Now the marbles represent the Kong in water, the tennis balls represents regular water, and the fence represents the cells of your body. So let me show you the microclustering in the water. So I've got two tea bags here. This is a Yamamoto green tea. And we're going to take one tea bag here and put it over here. Take this other tea bag and put it over here. Now we take our Kangen water and pour it into this cup right here. Now normally when you make tea, what do you have to do? You got to heat up the water, right? So we'll take some Aquafina here and pour it over here. Now what happens when we start dunking these tea bags? What's happening? Why is this one turning to tea and this one's having is kind of confused? It's because of the smaller water molecule clusters are in a, able to penetrate this tea bag and pull that tea out. Now this is very important because that tea bag acts like the cell of your body. The water is able to get into the cells, hydrate, detoxify, and oxygenate the cells 400% better than any other water. Also, Dr. Peter Agre, Nobel Prize scientist, says you need four, five to six parts per cluster in order to penetrate the cell wall and hydrate the, the cell of your body. So it's very, very important. All right, now we're going to check out the chlorine in the water. So we're going to take a couple cups and check out the chlorine. So put a little water in here and a little water here. And let's check out, see how much chlorine is in the water. So this is actually a chlorine chart. And you see how chlorinated the water is. So if we stir this up a little bit, you can see it's pretty bad. So we actually have some chopped lemons here. And when we take our lemons, our fruits and vegetables, home from the store, what do we like to do? We like to wash them in our water. So we're going to wash our lemons up. Now, did you know that chlorine was a gas they used to kill people with in World War I? They actually used to make mustard gas out of it. And where that mustard gas was used, it got into the soil, got into the roots of the plants, and they say not to buy any fruits or vegetables in that area here 90 years later because it can kill you. Israel outlawed using chlorine in their water 10 years ago, and since then there's been a 38% reduction in the cancer rate. So here we have our lemons that we're washing. And when we pour the water out, where'd the chlorine go? It went into the lemons, right? I thought we washed the lemons. We actually washed the water, right? And that's what happens when you shower. You're opening up the biggest organ of your body, which is your skin, and you take in the chlorine content that's in 10 to 12 glasses of water every time you shower. When you wash your fruits and vegetables, the water runs right off, but the chlorine gets sucked right in. That's why it's so important to wash your fruits and vegetables with water that doesn't have any chlorine or any chemicals in it. Now, I got some tomatoes here. These are sunburst nature sweet tomatoes, and we're going to wash these tomatoes up. So I have a couple cups here, and we're going to put a couple tomatoes in this one, and a couple tomatoes over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to wash these tomatoes. We're going to wash these tomatoes here in our strong Kangen water, strong alkaline water, just like so. And these other ones, we're going to wash in our Aquafina. So there's our Aquafina. And we're just going to give these a little bit of a 
agitate them. Okay, now this is what your body is made up of in water. It's actually 75% water. You see the makeup of your body, your bones and your, your, your skin and everything, your brain. This is Dr. Hiromi Shinya. He's actually one of the top five doctors in the world today. Now you never want to turn your back on this doctor because he actually invented the colonoscopy. Okay, that was a joke. All right, but he's actually worked on over 400,000 colons. And he prescribes this water to every single one of his patients. In fact, he won't take a patient unless they're drinking this Kangen water. He's the only doctor we know of with the zero reoccurrence of cancer with his patients. Now this is the before and after pictures of some colons before and after the water. This is actually a 52 year old male with prostate cancer. This is before and then three months after being on the water. This is a 45 year old female with breast cancer and chronic constipation. This is before and three months after being on the water. This is a person with chronic constipation. This is before and then three months after being on the water. Now, this is directly related to the tomatoes, believe it or not. But, so if I have these tomatoes here and we're, these tomatoes here have been washing in the Aquafina and when we pour out the water, not much change. These ones have been soaking in the Kangen water. We pour out the water. Now, what do we have here that we don't have here? What we have here is pesticides and herbicides that are removed off the tomatoes. Because when pesticides and herbicides were first used, they'd wash off in the rain. And then what happens is they'd have to spray them again with pesticides and herbicides. Then it rained again and washed them off. So then they got smart and they made them oil-based and they'd stick. So just to show you that, I got some uh, sesame seed oil. And we're going to take this sesame seed oil. And we're going to put a little bit of sesame seed oil in here. And we use sesame seed oil because it's probably one of the darkest oils there is on the market. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our, we'll take our Dasani for instance. And put a little Dasani over here. Now you can see how the oil and the water separate, just like you learned in school. Okay, the oil floats to the top. Here's our Kangen water. That emulsifies it. Okay, and that's how it works so good. Also, it also helps out with body fat loss too because of this. Now, this is a little boy with psoriasis. This is before on the left, and then after drinking and using the 2.5 strong acidic water on his skin after one month. This is a person with psoriasis before, and then using the 2.5 strong acidic water on their skin and drinking the drinking water, you can see the amazing results that they got. Now you can do it with all the cleaners in your house, all your 409s, your Windexes, etc., and just use the Kangen water and uh, the strong acidic water to disinfect your house, etc., and you can do it with all those bottled waters that you've been drinking before and save yourself a lot of money. There's an article in Reader's Digest that says, how safe is your bottled water? And the article talks about how all the bottles that you see up here, they're all rated on a scale of one to seven. Basically one being worst, seven being best. Ones mean it has a lot of BPA, synthetic estrogens, phytophthalenes, which are in the plastic, which leaches into the beverage and cause a lot of health problems. That's why Cheryl Crow sued the bottling company because she claimed she got cancer from the bottles, which is what her doctor implied. All these bottles that you see up here, with the exception of the glass one, they're all rated ones. So this leaches into your water and your beverage can cause a lot of health problems. It's really bad for you. And there's also, it says in the articles, that, that there is uh, two areas twice the size of Texas, 10 feet deep, where all these plastic bottles are gathered together and decomposing in the middle of the ocean. Now the energy it takes just to create the plastic bottles in the United States alone could fuel over one million cars for an entire year. That's over 17 million barrels of oil. This is what some experts are saying about the water as well. Second one down, Dr. Robert Young. He's been featured on CNN News because he's getting such great weight loss stories from his patients, alkalizing their bodies with the water, etc. And he says on CNN News that when your body is acidic, you store body fat around your vital organs. And when you're alkaline, you burn that body fat up as energy. So he says on CNN News, it's not that people are overweight, they're over acidic. Here's some other books that have been written on the subject as well. Reverse Aging by Dr. Sang Wang. In it he says, removing acidic waste is more effective than diet and exercise alone. You probably recognize this guy, Bill Gates. He has 27 doctors that work for him full-time on staff. 
got an autoimmune disease, and they suggest he get the machine. He got great results with, the, with his autoimmune disease. He actually has 16 machines in one house. He's got one in his boat and his plane. He bought 20 other machines as well. These are some other people that you probably know that have at least three or four machines in their house. Got Donald Trump, President Obama. Actually, when on the very bottom left, when Carlos Santana performs on stage, in between songs, every once in a while, he'll say, everybody should be drinking Kong and water. Now, I want to thank you guys for listening to this presentation. And hopefully, you can try this water out. It's got a 30-day money-back guarantee on it. So if you're not completely satisfied, you'll get your money back. And you got to start your, your way back onto health because the most important thing that you can put into your body is the water that you drink.